Hey there guys, this is Rob. I'm back with another podcast of Spaniel Con Rob. So this is another podcast where I'm going to discuss about the language of Spanish, but today in this vlog I'm not going to like you know discuss about the language of Spanish. I'm going to discuss about something else, something which you have already seen in the uh, thumbnail before and have actually dived into this video. So without any further ado, just be here and we will be going to this just in the time of 3 One. Here we go. So guys, we are going to discuss about five methods and how you can actually speak up and learn a language very 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 easily and how that can happen how that can happen that is a very big question I can say. So how this can happen this can only happen by one thing one or like you know not one thing but five things which i'm going to tell you so one of the first things you should do while learning a language is something you need like you know number one is the number one quality which you need for a language taking up a language is very hard and difficult to master it those who are not there like you know who haven't seen my other vlog me speaking in spanish i'm interested in seeing me speaking spanish you can just go in the first vlog i'll be linking the description below and also above you can go and click on that and can see my that vlog bird and that podcast bird like you know and give it a like and subscribe you know all the youtubers wants that but today i'm going to discuss about this five things and the first of them is determination first of all you should actually acknowledge yourself why determination because this is a very big factor first of all why a big factor in this you should know what language are you very interested of and like you know are you interested in arabic are you interested in spanish are you interested in any of those languages which you can actually take and master into so you should know what language you are interested on not just like you know your friends are doing french so you should go in french your friends are doing spanish so you go in spanish it's not something like that you cannot never you can never learn a language like that because it's very hard to just like you know it's easy to learn a grammar of a language but like you know some of the language which are very hard you cannot just uh, go and grasp the grammar itself but most of the languages are like you know very grammar friendly so it's very easy for you people to actually learn the grammar but the only thing which doesn't actually happens by itself is learning to speak it and speaking is one of the hardest thing if you don't have friends or if you don't have people who are speaking the language so it's basically like you know you go and meet with the natives of that country and you try to speak with them without even like you know getting afraid because you know that you can all, all, always you can just like you know go and speak wrong but that doesn't mean that you sh- should stop yourself so determination is the first point you should meet and like you know and you should have in yourself determination is very 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 important because that what drives your language learning so here is the first point you should actually get into your head coming to the second point which you actually should have in yourself is the wheel to like you know the wheel to actually grasp the knowledge of it like you know the to be summarizing this point into one is that the passion to learn new things into this not like language it's the passion for the language why because again when you love a language when you love the culture when you love the people of that place you will yourself drive yourself to learn more about it it's not something like 6 hours of study 4 hours of study there is no hard and fast rule about this like you know you just cannot go and just speak a language by just learning it 4 hours a day and that is something a trick which you can actually do there is no trick in any way guys i am just telling you very hard and fast rule you should actually make yourself passionate towards the language so you have to be passionate um, like for the language and that is the second point i'm going to say you because that is very nitty gritty of it if you think that i'm giving you some uh, advices which you already know i know that many people will know oh, i have i knew that i have to be passionate towards the language i know but many people doesn't understand just because they try to make a language their career they choose languages which are very very hard and difficult for them to understand there are multivarial languages and different kinds of languages you being supposed you are a person like you know who speak an indo-aryan branch of language you learning a language which is like you know sino tibetan might, might be chinese or like you know japanese will be very hard at first because these are the language which are not phonetically and like you know not verbally and as well as grammatically very connected to our language so you should decide 
what is your pros and what are your what are your cons so that will help you to learn the language nevertheless it's always choose wisely think well and coming to third point third point is that you people to like you know should go towards the resources resources as well as like you know um what can i say you people should actually go in details and go in research with the things like you know um what can i say you should research to the language and researching towards the language makes it more 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 easier as well as fun to understand the language supposing in spanish i am learning spanish why am i learning spanish because i love the language i love the verbal sounds of that it it is so phonetically brilliant a language because it has so many so many of vowels which is known as vocales in spanish if you people don't know what is vocales vocales are vowels which are there in english grammar too so this vowels makes the language very 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 easy and very like you know very phonetically very uh, what can you say um you can just say interesting and like you know attractive to listen many of the people actually will understand this by learn, like listening to the songs in spanish like you know you people can go and listen to songs in spanish even if you don't know what it means you will understand one thing that you like the song just like that like you know without any without any further instigation or investigations of what the language is actually speaking you will go and like that language then and there because of the vocals used in this language this language is very vocally uh, open like you know some languages are very consonant like base like some of the slavic languages whereas you go for russian you go for polish you go for languages which are very phonetically difficult to speak and like you know but this there is another thing those languages have their own flavor whereas these languages have their own flavor so you choose your language wisely fourth fourth is something you should actually know is that you should actually go for the stuffs present in online go and search as many as like you know online resources which you can if you are a ardent spanish lover or like you know you like spanish as a language i will tell you some of the five links or four links which i'll be stating in the description also if you can go and you will find many 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 resources from this language for this language for somebody it doesn't need you can you can already like you know you can already master your like you know basic of this language just by going into this like links whether if you want to study further if you want to and grasp some of the more advanced stuff you have to go for the like other teachers and teachers are always benevolent like you know so but i'll tell you you can also learn a language by yourself just by interacting with the natives of that language as well as learning it from the internet internet is a very good thing you should actually know how to search this and actually grasp the knowledge coming to number 5 and the most foremost thing about this is learn when you want to learn a language immerse yourself in that language immerse yourself as well as like you know as in i am not telling in the day one you just go and make your uh, keyboard of your mobile change into some other language like spanish or like you know some french thing which which you won't understand afterwards i am not telling that i'm just telling you immerse yourself in that language as like you want to be in that country supposingly i'm giving you an example if you travel to spain whereas you will speak to speak to the natives most of the times you will make yourself make yourself just listen to it make yourself understand the language whereas not just stating oh i am not getting the language so i'll speak in english because most of the people won't understand english there so you have to speak in spanish force yourself to make you understand that language that will help you to further acknowledge the language as well as not marginalize yourself but broaden yourself to the vocabulary of that language the saying that is very 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 important for actually making yourself immersed see movies watch like you know movies netflix is more like more than if you are a very ardent follower of like netflix you will know there are many 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 spanish things in that uh in that uh, uh, netflix kind of a thing so you can go watch with the subtitles in english first then remove the subtitles and make the subtitles in spanish and listen to that that will help you and then at last you can just remove the, all the subtitles if you want so basically you can do this and go and immerse yourself in learning this language because i'm telling and listen to much of the songs in that language even if you don't like it just listen it 
because that will help you to know the structure of grammar of that language because you know that grammar is very necessary how that thing works it very it is very very uh, like you know it's very important to know because that language itself is greeted in the language lyrics of that uh, uh, song so it's very basically very needed so immerse yourself as well as much as you can in that culture in by seeing movies secondly listening songs thirdly talking to the natives and as well as listen searching the internet these are the five things which i wanted you to tell and this might be i think that these are the most most uh, in like you know helpful things which will help you in the language learning please uh, if you like this thing go and subscribe to the channel tell me what you want me to make in this series which is a podcast coming every week on thursday the, about the language learning itself not just spanish but i'll be t- talking about spanish because it's my la- it's my learning language i want to speak with uh, you people about my learning experiences but i'll also help you in general how to learn a language and how to get it, uh, get on it i'll make it a daily like podcast on thursdays please stay tuned on thursdays if you like this kind of stuff subscribe to the channel help the channel grow and i'll be meeting you in the next thursday thank you for giving your time and this is rob signing off from rob tv peace and corona is gone yet so take care thank you